Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. If you've been on social media or YouTube or like any type of anything, then you've probably noticed that Titanfall 2 is alive, something's happening to it. That being said, I'm a huge Titanfall 2 fan. We mostly focus on Halo and Halo Infinite on this channel, but I there is such a soft spot in my heart for the Titanfall franchise. I just love it so much. I'm a huge believer that it didn't get the love it deserved when it came out, and to see it have some type of resurgence like seven years after its release makes me super happy. So we're going to go over a quick timeline of everything that's happened, what is currently happening, and what might happen in the future regarding this franchise. Because there's just a lot. It's almost like a very conspiracy drama filled journey that you take if you're a titanfall fan that being said if you enjoy the video make sure you leave a like if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe i know 90 some percent of you who watch my videos aren't subscribed and i would love to hit 15,000 subscribers by the end of this year like i said we mostly do halo content here but if there's a titanfall 3 or something coming out you can expect to see it on this channel all right, let's get into the video. So if you didn't know, Titanfall 2 has pretty much been unplayable for multiple years. It seems as though Respawn and EA had just kind of given up on it and it was being DDoSed and hacked and it just was unplayable on both PC and on console. There were some very creative fans who created a client that you could play that you could also like mod things and have like all the unlocks and stuff and host these crazy game modes called the North Star Client, and that, you know, was good enough for a little bit. People still wanted to play the vanilla game, but, you know, North Star was there for the hardcore fans. Fast forward, and it seems like Respawn or EA or some of the joke right now is that there's a janitor at Respawn updating the game, but somebody basically fixed all the networking problems, has gone through and updated the map so there's not like out of bounds glitches that you can do and they replaced it with a Nessie monster. They started updating the featured playlist and today on September 18th, which is when I'm recording this, 2023, a brand new never before seen played game mode came into the game. It's got three question marks. It's insane. <laughs> what is happening there have been respawn developers posting clips and stuff of them playing Titanfall and how much they love it there was also like a you know code that was cracked from respawn on apex legends about you know the release date of Titanfall 1 2 and apex there's been some leaks and rumors going around that the next season will be more titanfall themed it also seems like the actual vanilla game will allow cosmetic mods from the north star client to be used on the official game which is also nuts the message from the Advocate Network has also changed, saying, I am the Advocate, welcome back to all pilots. People are starting to question, you know, like, why would they actually update the game in this capacity if there wasn't something happening? We've heard about the canceled Titanfall single-player game, but it's just weird that they would be doing this much for Titanfall. I mean, there's 20,000 people playing Titanfall in 2023. If you want to, you can go ahead and compare the Battlefield and Call of Duty games that it launched against and see how many players are on those right now. Spoiler alert, it's not 20,000. I've also seen people say that there's been 4,000 players on PlayStation and up to 6,000 players on Xbox. So that's another 10,000 players on top of the 20K on PC. It's also on sale for like under $3 on Steam right now too. So I'm sure that's helping to funnel this hype into people actually playing the game. We've also seen on Twitter a couple of the devs talk about, you know, how much they love Titanfall, like I said before, but also the animation director at Respawn. Tweeted out, I don't know why, but I feel today will be an awesome day. This is not a cryptic message. Teasing some surprise release in Apex. I'm just happy with a gif of BT. Now, if you're going to tell me it's not cryptic, I think it's going to be taken as cryptic. So what's actually happening? Why isn't anybody from Respawn or EA saying, you know, we're fixing the game. This is great and stuff and get good PR from it. Like, why is nobody taking responsibility for this? And to be honest, I, there's so many different scenarios that you can come up with why they're being quiet, but it's just like there has to be something coming Titanfall related or, you know, Titanfall and Apex. How sick would it be if they just announced a Titanfall anime is coming out? I truly believe this game would have thrived 
if it had released at a different date. And as much as people love Apex and the movement, even though it's kind of like a watered down version of what's in Titanfall, I think people have been craving some type of advanced movement shooter for so long. And a lot of people are like, well, nobody's playing Titanfall. I'm not going to play Titanfall. A lot of people, you know, content creation and streaming and YouTube really pushes. I feel like what people want to play, and if they don't think that something is popular or good at that time, then they're just not going to play it anyways. So this is my plea to you. If you have three bucks, go buy Titanfall. Play for a couple hours, you know, get it under your belt for how the game actually plays. It is probably my favorite campaign, like FPS game of all time, and it has probably the best single player FPS mission of all time in it. They did not have to go that hard. So that by itself is worth the price. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below how you feel. What do you think is actually happening with Titanfall 2 or the Titanfall franchise? Or is this just something that's happening and it's not that really big of a deal and nothing's going to come of it other than maybe like some cosmetics and apex if you've made it this far in the video i will give you the comment of the day if you don't have anything else to say as it helps me out with the youtube algorithm go ahead and comment ronin down below that's probably one of my favorite titans in the game and that's going to do it for the video ladies and gentlemen if you enjoyed make sure you leave a like down below if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one Bye.